Yo, what's up, my mother Sharp here, bringing you guys another episode of 1v1 with Sharp. This is episode number 38, and God, we are just downturning it up all day. I feel like this is the only map I ever get anymore. So I'm going to start off here with the MP7. Kind of, you know, I want to use an SMG case so we get the close range gunfight, but I also want to have a little bit of range. And off the start here, I'm going to go far right in case he decides to flank from the outside of the map. But I'm also going to be checking the middle to see if he pushes up middle. Because a lot of people on search just like to rush. And I'm just trying to stop that. So I don't see him over here on the far right. I don't see him. This A building. I need to check up top here. Just take it slow. Check all the corners. <clears throat> Make sure I'm not missing anything. Sure he's not in here. Oh, he was out there. They're always out there, aren't they? I can't believe he killed me that quick. I like. Let's see how quick he killed me. It seemed like really. It seemed like I only got hit by like two bullets on my screen. That was. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Defense. I think I need to just play a lot quicker. I think that's my problem on this map. Even though I have been winning this map. If you guys have watched the last couple episodes. I have been winning this map. Oh, there he all is all the way over there. Hopefully he does not see me stalking him. Alright. Pick up that kill. 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> it was kind of a lucky break by me to look over there and see him going all the way over on the far right side and then once again I apologize for this being two downturns in a row I think I think the last episode of downturn I actually played a match before this one uh, but I wasn't I wasn't recording uh, I just like I just played a match and I, I lost and I wish I was recording because I, I do like uploading losses a lot I actually you know I, I feel like those help you guys more than me just you know running over someone so this guy's underground. He's going to try to nade me. I'm going to run. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to... Try to gunfight him here. I don't know where he went. See, this is shit that scares me. I'm going to go underground. Mm-mm-mm. Where art thou? Ooh, caught him. <clears throat> when in doubt, always check these little back rooms over here. Because uh, that's where, you know, he killed me crossing over to B that one, the very first round. Uh, and most of the time, you're going to catch someone slipping over there trying to cross over between bomb sites. So it's, it's especially when you're on offense, it's a big place. Defenders, you know, I'll be sitting at A. If I'm going to go to B, I'm going to come here through the back money room. Now this time I have a feeling he's going to come A. I don't know why, I just have that feeling. Probably because I shot him all the way from over here. This is a good, this is a good little uh, crossfire place. Uh, choke point, I guess you could say. To check all the way across the map, see if he crosses. Now he's either waiting in the back or he went underground. So what I'm actually going to do is push up. Oh, don't get turned on. No! Stop it, man! You did not just get turned on like that. Alright. See, look. I play on two sensitivity, and I can still get the turn on. That was, uh... Really bad on his part. I, I will have to say that he was crouching, and me personally, for some reason, I hate shooting while I'm crouched. Like, I cannot aim or shit. I don't know what the game does to you, but whenever I'm crouched, I can't aim. Now, I have a feeling like he's just going to rush, because that happened. He's frustrated, and he's just like, ah, I'm going to rush. Fuck this shit. All right. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy doing my impression of him. But he did go behind the A-bomb. Which is farther than he's pushed up any other round. He didn't even 
last time he didn't even cross the little middle barrier that time at least he pushed up a little bit so I need to need to focus here win this last round all right so last time he was camping outside a waiting Kind of chill right here. Get this choke point. Let's see if I see him going to B. I don't see shit. I'm coming over here. I'm going to go up top A. I'm going to sit in my spot, top A. Wait for the bomb plant. So, I see a lot of you guys commenting, asking why I joined Fear and all this stuff. You know, th this corner, this is, let's call this the talking corner. Because every time I go here, I, I decide to just ramble on about something. Because... I'm really just waiting for him to plant the bomb, but I see a lot of you guys commenting asking why did I join Fear, why did I go back to Moho, and really, uh, I, I discussed this on a pro scene with foreplay, I think there was a question asked, and I might have said this in my video where I announced that I was going to Fear, uh, there wasn't really anything that I was, I wasn't really doing anything on Envy, like I wasn't on the professional team, you know, I took, I took the break in MW3 and I quit playing, uh, and they, they got proof and, and Twiz and Karma and all them, they went through those guys. Uh, and then Stainville, he came back and, and he got on the team. Uh, it, I think it, the original plan was for me, Stainville, four play the team. Uh, and it, it went to me and four play, and then four play won the team with some guys that I didn't really want to play with. Uh, and then it just kind of, I started playing with Fear for the rest of MW3. I was like, you know, I'm going to play with them. Uh, and I just got back into it. I like teaming with my own assassin. Uh, and so I just, from there, decided to play Black Ops 2 with them. Uh, because I know <clears throat> we'll be, if we stay together, we'll, we will be a good team. Uh, you know, Fear, me, you know, me, and Mahana says we've been Call of Duty Pro since Call of Duty Four, uh, and Ricky just really uh, got known in MW3, and he's he, he's going to be a top player in Black Ops, uh, and I just think that we have really good chemistry together. Uh, we should work together well as long as like like I said, as long as as long as I don't get sketched on or anyone gets sketched on, uh, because I think really the key to anything is trying to focus on keeping your team together. Uh, don't you know teams that are just going to be switching teams constantly i'm scratching my leg right now i hope he doesn't run from me but teams that are like switching players in and out constantly they're not going to be the top teams look at optic optic kept pretty much you know rambo big timer and merc throughout the whole season <clears throat> and that that you know that worked for them all right of course he plants p but that worked for them it worked out and they were a very dominant team in black ops uh, and then they kept the team in mw3 picking up scumpy uh, but they had that core three guys, and you know it, it just worked for them. And MW3, they've been a top dominant team, and just throughout the rest of the game. Now, where is this guy gonna be? I need to. F All right, man. You're bugging me. Ah, shit. Well, I got defense. <clears throat> so I just kind of wanted to give that explanation because I still have a lot of people tweeting me and being like, oh, why, man? Why are you, why are you going back to my home? Um, and it's really just, I don't know. Like, I saw someone <clears throat> tweeting me saying, you're going to get hurt again. Like, it's not a damn relationship. Get hurt. It's business. I get dropped from a team. But I don't. I mean, it doesn't affect my day. This dude is playing slow McGee, and it's pissing me off. Now I'm gonna rush out here and get destroyed by him because he's camping like a bitch. Or he's gonna go away and I'm gonna be pissed. <clears throat> I'm gonna check this B building right here. B building. It's really coming down to luck right here. Whoever finds who first. 
You know, luckily for me, I don't have to plan about. I'm I'm pretty sure he's just waiting back here, waiting for the rush to spawn. Cause he didn't. I didn't see him go over by B. He just started playing A. All right, I just got lucky. I just got so lucky. Shoo. I bet he was just waiting out there by those tanks again, where he got turned on before. I got so lucky that, like, as soon as I was running up top A, I heard him plant that bomb. I hope you guys liked this episode. hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry, once again, for being downturned for two maps in a row. Um, I will probably just still upload it anyway because I already said what episode number. And it would sound retarded if I waited a couple episodes to upload this. But if you guys like this, don't forget to leave a like. Add to your favorites. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Fear Sharp. All that good stuff. Everything's in the description, Facebook, all that. Uh, and I'm out. Peace.